Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. During the board's meeting last Tuesday, Commissioner John O'Connor expressed his support of designating St. Mary's as a Second Amendment sanctuary county. O'Connor said, I think it's important when you watch what's going on in Annapolis that we take the initiative and we start letting people know that what they are doing inside the Beltway is not always reflective of the rest of the state. O'Connor is referring to a series of gun restricting bills currently being proposed in Annapolis. He said these bills are working against the law-abiding citizens, such as a bill placing further regulations on assault long guns, and fails to bolster criminals who obtain firearms. Students at Chapitacon High School celebrated Black History Month by creating sculptures and posters. The juniors of the Academy of Visual and Performing Arts, or AVPA, designed a poster with information about black artists. Meanwhile, the sophomore class created face jugs, sculpted pottery like African Americans used in the 1800s. The county's transit bus service is looking to contract out services after having difficulty recently retaining and recruiting its drivers. The Transportation Division of the St. Mary's Department of Public Works and Transportation assembled together for a meeting last Tuesday to explore contracting out the services. John Dietrich, Director of the Department of Public Works and Transportation, told the commissioners at the meeting there are three main issues disrupting the delivery of the transit services are the lack of the CDL drivers, the challenge of operating a rural transit system that's transferring into rural plus suburban areas, and a substantial increase in transit demand for people with disabilities. In order to improve operations and service to the county, the department is suggesting evaluating the possibility of contracting out the operations. The department wants the Maryland Transit Association to assist in the transition. Now turning to sports. Friday night marked the third meeting between Great Mills and Leonardtown in the 2019 to 2020 campaign. The two teams had each won a game in the season series coming into the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division contest coming onto the other team's home floor. This time around, back at Great Mills, it was the Hornets who broke through with a 76-69 win. Great Mills senior Jarrell Barnes said, We played well as a team. We tried to play as disciplined as possible. With this, the Hornets won their 11th straight game. On Saturday at the Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex, six Southern Maryland Athletic Conference swim teams made a splash at the Class 4A-3A North Region Swim Championships. In the girls' meet, Leonardtown, 212 points, garnered the best result from a smack school with a fifth place finish. Great Mills was 8th, 135 points, Huntingtown was 9th, 122 points, and North Point was 10th, 78 points, to round out the smack schools finishing in the top 10. Northern placed 12th, 46 points, and Chopticon was 14th, 26 points. Sherwood of Montgomery County won the team championship for a second consecutive year with 347 points. That's what we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. Signing, Signing off. off.